The views expressed on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast are that of Jerry Cahill and guests, and not necessarily those of the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Nothing on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Jerry Cahill and guests cannot be held responsible for any damage which may result from using the information on this podcast without the permission of your medical doctor. You're listening to the Jerry Cahill CF podcast presented by the Boomer Esiason Foundation at jerrycahill.com. Welcome to Jerry Cahill's Living, Breathe, and Succeeding podcast. This episode, Being a CF Mom, was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Gilead to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today you will meet Gunner's mom, Cheryl Esiason. Cheryl opens up about what it's like being Gunner's caregiver, friend, and mother. Hello, my name is Cheryl Esiason, and I'm the proud mom of Gunner and Sydney Esiason. Being a mom entails a lot of joy and a lot of hard work and doing a lot of ordinary things with unconditional love. I just remember maybe being a little bit more in tune to things that weren't normal. My instincts told me that something wasn't right. When he was diagnosed, he was 25 months old. So it was right after his second birthday and he was very sick. And by then, we had already had him tested for CF when he was 14 months old. And the test resulted in a false negative. That was not the Gibson Cook, you know, the gold standard test for CF. So we had basically checked cystic fibrosis off of the list. But by the time he was diagnosed, he was very ill. He had pneumonia, and in the ER, the ER docs actually were the ones who said uh, he needs to be retested for CF. Boomer was in, had just left for training camp. He had been traded to the Jets. He was in New York. We were at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And um, when the doctor and nurse walked through the door the next day, we knew that we were getting confirmation that he had cystic fibrosis. And they told us, and we cried. Gunner slept, just slept through it, just like an angel. He um, had an oxygen mask, and, and that was really hard. That was, you know, he's just hooked up to IVs and monitors, and. That was overwhelming. Um, And, you know, for a few minutes you feel sorry for yourself and you feel guilty. And then we just knew, okay, we we have to fight. We have to fight for Gunner. The biggest difference after Gunner was diagnosed and after the 14 days of IV antibiotics is that he felt better. That now we knew what we were dealing with So that was empowering, and he began to feel better too because we were doing the proper treatments and the chest percussion, and it was so much better than being in the dark and not knowing and and watching your child become just gravely ill. I think we helped to make Gunner's life as normal as possible by having a routine and um, simplifying things. And especially when he went to school, other things uh, prepped and prepared and ready. Um, Because you never know when you are going to have one of those unexpected moments. Over time, I think he also realized that when he would do treatments, the result would be that after treatments, he would feel better. So there was a little pain, but there's a gain. I think high school for any parent, (laughs) those years are are always interesting. He has a great sense of humor, so it's, I think it's easier when your children are a little bit older to become their friend. He would definitely call me his mom. (laughs) Well, I think going away to college, I think that's tough for any parent when your child leaves, you're thinking about how is he getting his meds? 
How are they going to be delivered to him? Um, is he really going to be cleaning his Nebtees? Is he going to be able to handle academics and have a social life? I mean, we know what college is about. Is he actually going to have this normal college experience? And the answer to all of those is yes. He was successful in college because he was disciplined. It was initially scary, but I know he would say probably the four best years of his life. I think the most important role as a CF mom is to help your child realize that they can lead a normal life and that cystic fibrosis is just another part of their life and letting them know that they're not different, that they're not you know, children of a lesser God, that they can still have the same dreams and aspirations as any other child. He's always been a joy and he is a wonderful person. He's grown into just a fabulous adult. He amazes me every day um, and I love him. I, I want him, I want the very best for him. My dream for Gunner is to to live a long, healthy life and to have the career that he's always wanted to have um, and to go after it knowing that he can do it and to marry that beautiful person in his life and to have as many children as he wants to have and just know that, that he can be happy and um, if he's happy then I'm happy. I would like to share that being a CF mom, there's really so much joy in having a child and watching your child grow. And that comes with the good and the bad and, and it's hard to see, it, hard when your child isn't feeling well. And, um, it's in, and the pain that goes along with that. But the beautiful lessons that you learn um, from them and uh, because they're always teaching you something. Every child teaches their parents. I know I'm a better person because I am Gunner Sison's mom. <laughs>